Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. We're playing The Last Guardian, a custom campaign for Warcraft 3, created by Outsider Z. And it's Chapter 3, Battle and Aftermath. We got to explore a little bit of Karazhan last time, and I know it opens up later in a future mission. A few hours later, in the southern part of the morass. Oh, okay. Ow! I'm hurt. <laughs> Ow! Right away. My shoulder got injured badly. I need some sort of bandage to cover the wound. Okay, bullfrog. Right away. Bullfrogs eat various types of animals. They only need to be placed at the right spot. It looks like there's a passage behind those rock chunks. I'll need something explosive. Dangerous fish? Yes, so we put the bullfrog down here, I guess? Unable to drop it. I'm not going to cross the stream. These fish look hungry. Okay, the bullfrog ate them, though, and I can pick the bullfrog back up. Well, hang on a second. Let's just double check. That's where we picked up the bullfrog. Let me just cool. double check there wasn't another way to go back here. I don't think so. Okay, cool. So let's continue. Egg sack. Feel my wrath. I am your servant. Also, we're looking for spice so that we can make better the potions. Light, Haven't found any of that yet. Not enough, oh, well, yeah, I don't have enough mana to really do anything here, so we just gotta, gotta man-fight the spider. And by man-fight, I mean shoot fireballs at the spider, but still. Spider ring. Of course. I am your spider ichor. Poisonous blood of a spider. A bullfrog's blood may reverse the effect. I can't combine them together, though, so I think we need something else. Maybe. It's saying that something is usable here. I think I'm gonna need. I think I need to use alchemy to mix them. If I had to guess, so let's wait. We don't have enough mana to do that. I do find it interesting that alchemy has a mana cost at all. So let's go potion of recovery. Use it. Done. I'm gonna guess that the spider ring's a trash item like the two that we found on, on mission two, but we'll see. Find Medivh. Okay, let's check this way. No, okay, that's a dead end, so I guess let's go and check elsewhere. Oh no, I need an explosive to get through the rocks, right? So let's just keep using focus to see what we can pick up. It looks like we can squeeze through these trees. Let's try it. Oh, we uh, right away. we can break the trees with pillars of flame. I always right forget that, that you can do that. Human wants to play. All right, servant. why don't we why don't we get you guys you clumped up a little bit, right away. so that we can hit multiples. Then we can move this way, do the same thing. And they got runes, yeah, rune of mana and healing, so we could we could take these guys out no problem. Let's just go ahead and blast these with one more pillar of flame. That should kill the yeah the ranged one. Here, what else are we using that for? So let's do it. Flee, play with me. <laughs> My apprentice told you to leave. You should have followed his orders. I know you, human. You are the one. Are you well, lad? Fine. The cavalry had last. Too loud and too late, but don't tell them that. Rest now. Cadgar, this is Lord Andu and Lothar. Lothar, this is my apprentice, Cadgar the Kirin Tour. So, you finally got an apprentice. Had to go to the Violet Citadel to find one, eh, Med? Find one of suitable merit, yes. What has this one done to impress you? Oh, the usual. Organized my library. Tamed a griffin on the first try. Took on these orcs single-handed, including a warlock. He organized your library. I'm impressed. Lord Lothar, your skill is known even in Dalaran. You rest, lad. We'll get the rest of those creatures. 
You won't. Not if you stay on the road. The lad's right, I'm afraid. The orcs have taken to the swamp. They seem to know the Black Morass better than we do, and that's what makes them so effective here. We stay on the roads, and they can run circles around us. How did you know they were here? I encountered one of their advance scouts near my domain. I managed to squeeze out of him that there was a large party looking to raid along the Morris Road. I had hoped to arrive in time to warn them. Sir, we've found a survivor, but he's in pretty bad shape. Could the Magus come at once? Stay with the lad. He's still woozy from everything. You seem to have some experience with these orcs. Maybe you can help us with something. Anything, my lord. The orcs in these swamps have set up a force field to allow only their own troops to enter their camp. So far, we haven't been able to deactivate it. I'm not asking for much. Just keep your eyes open in case you see something that could help us on the matter. Help Lothar's men deactivate the force field. Speak to Lothar. Well, let's talk to him anyway. So, the old coot finally took on an assistant. Apprentice. He's had many assistants. They didn't last. Or so I heard. Uh-huh. I recommended a few of those assistants, and they came back with tales of a haunted tower and a crazy demanding mage. What do you think of him? He's a bit weird. He's a bit weird. How? Uh, he's more than I expected. Don't tell me how I should feel, game. He's more than anyone expected. That's one of his good points. It's that it's very politic and polite. Resp that's a very political and polite response. How old are you, lad? Oh, I don't know. Thirty. Uh huh. Seventeen. <laughs> Sounds right. Why? Med. I mean, Lord Magus Medib was a teenager too when he fell into a coma. As a result, he never dealt much with someone of your age. For years, he was like that. Then, snap, he woke up right as rain. Or almost. Almost. He fell asleep a teenager and woke up a grown man. Med calls it a nap, like it was perfectly reasonable, but he never found out why it happened. The Magus has shown no interest in the matter, even when I've asked. I worry about him. He's all alone in his tower. Uh, ghosts. He has a Castilian, and there's Cook. With all of his magic, he just seems alone. Tucked up in there in the mountains, I worry about him. Okay. Right away. We've spoken to Lord Lothar. Let me just ask, I guess, about the force field now. So, any progress on this force field? A couple different ways to go. I'm working on it. Uh, let's check over here. This is where we came in. I think we I think we want to go ahead and and go level three alchemy to prioritize that. So what is this for? Right away. Is this just to say like, hey, there's a tree? I thought that might work on the tree. It did not. Right away. I've seen glyphs before, but I'm unclear what they're used for. I see you. My Very nice. Okay, so let's go... Well, I guess Pillars of Flame. I mean, the faster attack and movement speed is fine. Let's just go Pillars of Flame, though, because that's, yes, our, that's our most valuable thing here. So let's check and see if what's usable here. Pink no boots. Sir. Slightly undersized. I'm going to guess that I have two things here that are so not usable. I'm just guessing, though, that the two items that I have picked up here are, are worthless. Speedweed. Right away. Cadgar's diary. Sure. My diary. I must have lost it during the attack. I should update it when I have the chance. Of course. I didn't expect anything like this. I'm only 17. With this knowledge, I feel as wise as an old. Morris is an odd person. Cook is shy. Is that her real name? Medivh called me his apprentice for the first time. Of course. So it's unclear to me what the circle of power is used for. I also do not have access I am your servant. to... Well, I wonder what this is used for. We'll see. 
Again, same thing here. Like, it's it's claiming there's something usable on this tree. I am your servant. I suppose let's just keep looking. I forget what I was about to say. I'm not worried about finding additional spice to find to get more stuff. Let's go right. Right away. Oh, there's our... Okay, there's our bank. Let's pick that up. There we go. So let's put what I'm going to assume to be trash items in here. As you wish. Right away. Our caravan's been attacked, and Lothar wants to put the corpses in body bags, including orcs. We sent Timmy to count the corpses, but we need someone else to confirm. Would you do that for us? Yeah, dog. Is someone injured? Do I need to confirm? Count the amount of dead footmen, knights, grunts, and warlocks separating each unit type. You know, that barrel of explosives looks quite interesting. Could I borrow it for a minute? Sure, but I need you to do something first. The orcs have destroyed one of our towers. We need some lumber to repair it, but we can't harvest here anymore. We need the cover. Okay, well, I saw that one tree. Find an axe, gather some lumber, bring it to the peasant. Okay, can I just steal it? <laughs> Right I see you, Tome of Experience. Don't hide from me. I am your servant. Crates. The power of the light that's burns. that's actually kind of hard to see. There we go. Of chest course. key. Haven't had to use any chest keys yet. Except in mission one. I mean, unlocking them is fine. It's not like it's a particularly crazy challenge to I do. Okay, so we can go and count the bodies. Let's do that now because we know it's something that we can do. Don't... I don't want right to... I don't want to talk to you. That's what that's the tree we're going to cut down obviously. Yes, my friend. Of course. Okay, so it's a little hard to see. Okay, so we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6. So there's two warlocks based on the mana bars. So that's easy. Knight, footman, footman, foot. So these three are footmen. Footmen. So there's four footmen and two knights. Three knights. One, two, three. What's this one up here? That's the warlock. This this vulture's in the way. I think it's supposed to be irritating for that reason. So that's a warlock. I think it's... Yeah, okay. So we've got three... One, two, three knights. Two warlocks. One, two, three, four, five grunts. So five grunts. Three, four footmen. Five grunts. Two warlocks. Four footmen. Three knights. Four footmen, three knights. Five wish. grunts, two warlocks. Right Let's see if we can remember this. Five grunts, two warlocks. Four footmen, three knights. Of course. As you wish. So how many dead bodies did you find? How many dead footmen? Uh, four footmen. Three knights. Five grunts. Two warlocks. Yep, that's what Timmy reported as well. Give me an axe. Give me an axe. As Give me nothing. Of course. <laughs> okay, fine. I am your servant. Whatever you say, buddy. So there was was there any purpose to doing that? I guess it was just its own little its own little thing. There I don't know. I wonder what that was for. All right, so let's go down now. There's the axe. We can't get through. That's the force fields. Mana bulb. This looks like a proper tree to cut. A skink. Destroy it. Dead skink. A skink slain without mercy. Okay, so let's maybe throw that in my thing here. Also the diary. Okay, so let's cut this tree. I guess now we have a branch. Uh, use. Some lumber. And then another mana bulb, which I, I again, I don't really care about. I guess I could pick it up and throw it in my inventory. The branch also might be not worth using, but I'm not sure if it's needed for anything. Right away. Okay, bundle of lumber. As you wish. So I used focus. It actually didn't... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, because it was in the fog of war. It didn't actually show me anything. Okay, so let's go and cut down the other the other tree. I am your servant. Inventory. 
doesn't stack, unfortunately, but that's fine. So let's use the pot of speed, pick that up, and then let's go turn this in. Maybe you needed to do both of these in order to get the explosives. I'm not sure. Right away. You found some lumber. Very good. I've also helped that other guy with his problem. Yeah, you needed to do both. I see. He would have told us to go and talk to him. That's great. Then you can have the barrel. Have fun. So we're not really borrowing this so much as obviously just using it to blow something up. As you wish. So let's go and break the of course. the rocks, because that's the only thing I can really do right now. So we can see what's back there. I am your servant. I can't move. It won't let me move, so I guess I'm far enough away. A boulder. Right away. Okay, and I can go through the cave. I am Extra spice servant. sounds good. So I can combine this to make some stuff. What ails you? So let's do that. Is this guy has something for me. You found us in our secret domain. You must be the chosen one. Mammon Sax. Uh, yes? Who are you? We are the Key Masters. Come, we don't have much time. We shall show you what the Keeper requires to complete the ritual to break the force field. Yes, my friend. Create a mixture of rare colors for him. In our toolbox, you will find instructions on how to create this mixture and proper alchemic tools for the procedure. As you wish. Okay, so I've got the stick and boulder, which I'm going to guess are also not used. I am your servant. But we'll see. You wish. So let's grab the tattered cloak. A tattered cloak. Okay, we had a free key, and then we've got three things to pick up here. Of course. Also, I picked up Lothar's notes. There are more reports of mysterious creatures lurking in the Black Morass. King Lane has ordered me to find out if these reports are true. If we find more than just vengeful trolls, my only hope is that our biggest weapon is up for the challenge. Stormwind must not lose Medivh. He must not fall into another coma. Okay, so we need a full vial and a dead skink to make green liquor, liqueur, a champion's curl, plus a dead vulture, red liqueur, and then the color of rainbows. I don't, again, I have no idea what a lot of this is going to be used for, but I have a lot of the stuff that I need. So we can right fill on. up our vial. I know that it had shown us... I wonder what... I think I picked something up there. It had shown us an area up here where we could fill up our vial, so let's do that right first. On. Okay, that's full. Let's go ahead and drop this down. Um, I don't need the notes anymore. Right and I doubt I'm going to need the Tattered Cloak. So let's go ahead and we can mix the Dead Skink to make the Green Liquor, the core, And then the Sharp Knife, I think I have to use on, if I'm, I'm going to guess, I'm going to have to use on Lothar. Uh, let's, let's throw the boulder at the Vulture. Okay, that worked. So I need I have a dead vulture mixed with a champion's curl. I'm going to guess I have to use the knife on Lothar. I'm guessing. Right right and I'm just going to try to keep everything just As in case. Wish. I am your servant. Of course. As you wish. So let me just I let me talk to him servant. real quick. Force field, no dice. Okay, so I let's go behind him and see if this works. Okay, that worked. A curl of Lothar's hair. It'd be funny if it just killed him and then you fail the mission. The champion is not amused. Hey, what the? Give me that knife. Don't be such a baby. We needed this. Okay, cool. And then we combine the red liqueur and the green liqueur to make color of rainbows. And then we can go turn this in. We've got a lot of stuff out of our inventory. We do have three items that are presumably trash. Though I wonder if maybe there's like things that you can mix just to make like Easter egg items. I don't know. Okay, very nice. This is where you kind of need focus, because if you didn't realize, you could go into the, um, into the, into the cave. Oh, okay, the, so I have to go put this at the keeper statue, so I don't need to, I didn't need to come back here. So come back here, and then where the dead bodies were, we go up the ramp, and then we drop this at the keeper statue. I'm pretty sure that was where it was. It was at the dead bodies up here.
Okay. There it is. I am your servant. Speak to Lothar, so that should bring down the force field, I, I guess. I wonder if, like, this puzzle, it probably wasn't a puzzle, but it was something in the book with, like, a force field. What an odd thing, you know? Of course. Any progress on this force field? Look for yourself. The force field is down. Excellent work. It seems the Magus didn't put his trust in vain. It seems the Magus hasn't returned yet. Are you inclined to complete another task for Azeroth? You aren't our servant, after all. It's not a problem. I will do as you wish, for you're a friend of Medivh. Excellent. We need someone to spy on these orcs. Someone to gather some information about their origin, their plans, and weak points. If any. Only then we can strike efficiently. Will you do so? Yes, my lord. I'm eager to help. Put on orcish armor, a helmet, and green paint. Listen to three conversations. Someone injured. So, I think I had a tattered cloak, but I really doubt that that's what I'm going to need. Let's go ahead and start using focus to see. I am your servant. What are these? Right away. I am your servant. Doesn't look like I can pick anything up there. I am your also, servant. I guess let's just go down to where the I force field was. Servant. I'm going to assume there's really nothing else for me to have found. Hmm, okay. Just double checking to see if anything had spawned. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem like stuff just randomly appears in places you've already been, which is nice. Okay, here we are. So we've been down here, but now we can get through here. Extra spice and a mana bulb, so I can make even another mana pot. Be cool if those stacked, but they don't. You know what? It's fine. Just get it out of my inventory. I rarely am going to need those. Uh, let's go right. As you wish. All right. So he's level three. Gone, spawn of darkness. And be gone, spawn of darkness. The real one is is this one. I, am your Feel my wrath. I think we'll kill him. I think we'll do just fine here. He might split again, but that's fine. This is the real one. Nope, that wasn't the real one. My bad. There's plenty of runes here, so we should be able to kill him in this round. Don't split again, please. There we go. I am your servant. Healing and mana. There's our helmet. We had to kill him. I am your servant. Okay, we need to collect all the pieces first. Cool. All right, so we got to lockpick this one. Left. Oh, oh, so this, this, it reveals the first two. Got it, right? Right, got it. That's very, that's actually quite nice, just in terms of... Is my aid required? Of quality of life, trying to figure out where to go and all that shit. I am okay, so we got, we have two of three. Let's just always, just constantly be using spirit. focus, I guess. Play with us. Why do they keep saying that? Stop it, you weirdos. And let's just go ahead and just keep using our Q, because we've got the mana pot. Such intense music. It scares me a little bit. Let's get on top of the warlock so that we can efficiently do this. Okay, one more. That should do it. And we have a level. Let's go level three alchemy. Because it says that we can create stuff that gives us permanent effects, which sounds great to me. Nothing there, so let's go ahead and combine all these. We've done it. Listen to three orc conversations. What Speak to Lothar. Not comfortable, but it should do the trick. Of course. <laughs> all right, so now we are I am your servant, an orc. As you wish. I can't use flame strike. Right away. Okay, so let's go over here. What we can over here. Pretty small camp. Let's eavesdrop over here. I sicken at the sight of this so-called lush world. Gul'dan promised us more. Silence. We are only here to carry out our mission. Once we have crushed these puny humans, we'll be allowed to return to our own world. I mean, you did show up in a swamp. You haven't really seen much of the rest of the world. Draenor? I'd rather call this swamp my home than those wastelands. 
Okay, so that tells us where they're from. Right away. I am your servant. Over here, please. The war chief will be pleased to hear of our success raiding these humans, but it will not be enough. If we want to conquer this world, we must break the humans' neck. We need to attack their capitals. Is someone injured? Okay. That's their future plans. There's something that we can do up here. Perhaps that's just indicative of a conversation. Burning Blade's power is increasing, as are numbers. Black Hand will not let this mad clan take over command. He would rather let Gul'dan and his Stormweaver clan, or the Blacktooth Grin clan, have their way. Of course. He can't hold his position. Right Black Hand is weak. Hush. Grunt is listening. Dabu. <laughs> right away. Okay, so we've gotten some info on the internal politics of the orcs, what their plans are, and where they're from. Of course. They've got a nice little outpost here. It'd be tough yes. to cross that bridge and get to them. As you wish. So I think that's going to be it for this mission. I I think again we've got a bunch of extra items, but I think a lot of them are are trash. I could do experimentations just to see, like, maybe one will give us a good item. But it doesn't matter because none of it carries over into future missions anyway. Let's ask about Medivh. About Medivh, what can I do to help? Keep an eye on him. If you're an apprentice, he should spend more time with you. I don't want him to... ...be affected by amnesia, hurt someone, fall into another coma. Fall into another coma. I'd be honored to help you both, Lord Lothar. Know that my loyalty must be to the Master Mage first, but if there's anything a friend would need to know, I'll pass it along. There's something else. Has the Lord Magus spoken of the Guardian to you? Heard the name, no details. I've heard the name from Medivh's lips, but know nothing of the details. Then let it be as if I said nothing to you. You seem like a trustworthy sort. How long have you been Medivh's apprentice? Oh, gosh. One day. Counting until dawn tomorrow? That would be one. Okay. Well, we got him right. I don't know if that provides us with anything, but we got him right. Spying. Have you found something out? The orcs came from another world called Draenor. To conquest Azeroth. There are scuffles among the clans. Great work, lad. I'm sure this information will help the campaign against these monstrosities. Are you up for travel? Well enough. I don't know if I can handle a griffin. Though even with... It's just as well. Your mount got spooked by the attack and headed for high country. We'll have to double up. So, I'm your apprentice. Yes. I passed your tests? Yes. I'm honored, sir. I'm glad you are, because now starts the hard part. We're doing it! We're becoming an apprentice. Let's just hope we don't get aged 50 years. I don't actually know how old he gets, but I'm, I'm just guessing it's 50 years. Because he's 17, he turns into an old man. Again, sort of spoilers, but if you... I mean, I've already played this campaign, and also it's common knowledge that Khadgar is artificially an old man. Alright, so let's watch Sands in an Hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Seven days later, back at the tower. I'm gonna... I would wager that my old self that played this made the exact same soap opera joke. I've seen them before. The orcs we fought. You didn't mention that when you first arrived. I remember asking you about the other races. Where have you seen them? In a vision soon after I arrived here. It was on a battlefield and these orcs were attacking us. I mean, attacking the humans I was with, and I wasn't here. Not in Azeroth or Lordaeron. Wherever I was, the sky was red as blood. Curious. That is a new one. A new one indeed. Medivh, sir, where do these visions come from? Are they haunting of some past or portent of the future? Both. And neither. Go fetch an ewer of wine from the kitchen. My work is done for the day. I'm afraid it's nearly time for supper, and this may take some explaining. Interesting music choice. Moros said that people saw things like that all the time. Moros is right. 
That this tower is a place of power should not surprise you. Mages gravitate towards such places. One such location is here in the Red Ridge Mountains. Once, long ago, something powerful exploded here, carving up the valley and weakening the reality around it. Then you came. Yes, that's all true, if you look at it in a linear fashion. But what happens if the explosion occurred because I would eventually come here, and the place needed to be ready for me? Magic is the art of circumventing the normal. Tell me, what is time? How does it work? Asking the real tough questions. Time is a regular progression of instants, like sands through an hourglass. Excellent analogy. If the tower is an hourglass and not a mechanical clock, then visions are bits of sand, of time itself, that are moving through it at any time. These are unstuck or overlap each other, so that we can see them, but not clearly. Some of it is part of the past, some of it parts of the future. Could some of it be of other worlds as well? Possible. These visions waft in and out of their own speed and defy us to explain their chaotic nature. Have you ever sought out a particular vision? Wouldn't there be a way to discover a certain future and then make sure it happened? Or make sure it never comes to pass. No, there are things, there are some things that even a master mage respects and stays clear of. This is one of them. Bring me a vish. I have to go. Tonight, I'm afraid. I will leave instructions for your studies with Moros. Fine. <laughs> Fine, go! <laughs> Bring me a vision of the young Mediv. You are a fool, Guardian of Terrace Fall. While you have been fighting only a few, my brothers in sorcery have brought in others. A legion of others. Every incubus and petty demon. Every nightmare and shadow hound. Every dark lord and captain of the Burning Legion. All have come here while you were alone. Have fought these few. While you alone have fought these few. I know, but I never said I was alone. Oh, got him! Sargeras, I've broken your toys. You're finished here. Flee while you still have your life. The time of Tyrus Fall is about to end. This world will soon bow before the onslaught of the Legion. Surrender now. I have use of your power. No. Then die, Guardian, and let your world die with you. The Magus is back. Why aren't you up at the observatory level? Medivh's back? That's what I said. You're to fly to Stormwind with him. Stormwind? Me? Why? You're the apprentice, that's why. Observatory. Top level. I've summoned the Griffins. Alright, we're going to Stormwind next time. I like the the details of Aegwyn, and again, if you're familiar with Warcraft lore, you already know what's going to happen, but the way that it's sort of revealed in pieces here is neat. You know, how Aegwyn, who is Medivh's mother, battled off with Sargeras, and we didn't really see the end of that duel, which is extremely important, and I'm assuming that we'll find out what, that happen what happens there near the very end of this campaign, if I remember correctly. 
All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.